everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I'm going today. I'm going to take the banana bread that I made yesterday and I'm going to turn it into banana bread French toast with strawberry topping. Is y'all ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> so, first, I'm going to take uh, the banana bread that I had some left over from yesterday and I'm gonna cut a few cut a few slices maybe like a, about a, a inch slice I'm, I'm gonna do three because my niece says she don't like banana bread but I bet she gonna like this when I make this and three so after I cut my three slices I'm going to make my uh, batter for my french toast so I'm going to use two eggs And then I'm going to add a half a cup of my almond milk that I used yesterday. Now, you don't have to use almond milk. You can use uh, regular whole milk or you can use half and half, whichever you decide that uh, you like better. So I'm going to put a half a cup. Uh, almond milk and then I'm gonna whisk this up a little bit to break up to break up the eggs. Now that was two two large eggs. After I whip this up a little bit you can use cinnamon and nutmeg, but I'm going to use some pumpkin pie spice today. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this pumpkin spice in here just to add a little extra flavor. And then I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is the vanilla extract, not the imitation vanilla. This is the extract. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of this in. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar. And that's just to sweeten it up a little bit. Now the banana bread is already, you know, got some sugar in it, but I just add a little bit more. And then I'm going to whisk this up. So now that I got that mixed up, that's going to be my custard that I'm going to dip my bread in. 
and then I'm gonna fry it in the skillet. But before I start to fry this, I'm gonna get started on my strawberry sauce. So I have some strawberries that I bought these fresh from the produce and then I always bring them home and because I might not eat all the strawberries all at one time and I don't want them to get bad. So I wash them and cut them up and then put them in freezer bags that way I can take out what as much as I need when I need to. So these were just some, some strawberries I had in the freezer. So I'm going to take some of these strawberries and put them in a pot. Somebody said good evening. Good evening. Who's the name on there? Um, Retro V. Winston. Hey, Gertie. How you doing, Gertie? So I'm going to turn this, turn this on. And then to my strawberries, I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to put some sugar in here. And it all depends on how sweet you want your strawberries. So I'm going to put maybe, I'm going to do maybe like four tablespoons of sugar. Now when these strawberries cook down, they're going to make some of their own juice. I'll put a couple more in there, y'all. I'll put a couple more. That was more than four. That was like maybe six. <laughs> Six tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> and then I'm also going to add to my strawberries. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, lemon extract in the, in the strawberries. Just a little bit to give it a little, a little, a little tartness. Granny said, looking good. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. So I put a little bit of lemon extract in there. And then those going to start, start to cook down. I'm going to add a little bit of water, but they're going to make they, they going to make their juice. As they start to cook down, it's going to turn into like a syrup. Once they cook, once they start cooking down. So while that's going, I'm gonna put my pan on the skillet, on the put my pan on the fryer, on the fire, so I can start to warm up my pan. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons, two tablespoons of butter in the pan. And then along with the butter, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, vegetable oil. And that's so when the butter starts to melt down, it won't get too hot and then burn in the skillet. So this is going to help it uh, raise the temperature of the butter a little bit. So then it'll it'll mix in with the butter to give me the butter flavor, but then I'll still be able to fry it good with the oil in there. So we're gonna let that melt melt down real good. And get the bubbling real nice. And then we're going to put this fresh toast in this skillet and have it popping. Just a heck of a choice. So now I'm going to take, take the banana bread and I'm going to dip it. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. I'm going to dip it in here <laughs> so it can soak up. It's good custard in here. Then we're going to take it and put this bad boy in the skillet. That's one. This. 
this is two. I'm going to try to get three in the skillet, y'all. I think I can do it. And then three. That's it, y'all. And then we're going to wait for it to brown. We're going to let it brown in the skillet. My niece Jasmine, she camera person again today, y'all. Turn around and tell, tell the people hi, Jazzy. Tell the people hi. Hi. <laughs> She be trying to act shy, y'all, but she really not. <laughs> She's really not. So while that's going, I'm gonna get the, get my plate out. For when this is uh, for when this get done, and then I'm gonna look at my strawberries and start stir up my strawberries a little bit. So y'all see, I put just a little bit of water in there, but they starting to make their own juice. So I'm gonna let them keep going until the, the syrup thicken up. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, just to speed it up a little bit. And then we got, we got our French toast going. Ooh, see it bubbling in that butter, y'all. That's good bubbly butter goodness. Good bubbly butter, good butter goodness. So after I did my live yesterday, I was so nervous, y'all. I really was. I was so nervous um, doing a live. But I've been wanting to do one for a while. And then after I did it, I said, well, you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, so that kind of gave me motivation to continue and keep on doing it. So just as a, a, a reminder to some of you that's watching, if you're fearful about things, just go ahead and do it. You know, I know there's a lot of people, you know, God has given us all gifts and talents and things. And so it would be, really be, would be kind of selfish if you wouldn't let the world see your light and the gifts and talents that he's given you. So if you're fearful, I would say just go ahead and do it anyway because you have so much that you can give of yourself to the world. So that was just some, some, just some words of encouragement it ain't all the way brown yet so i ain't gonna flip them over just yet we're gonna let them brown up a little bit more andrea said hey looks good hey drea thank you so what have some of y'all been been cooking good today gertie i know you've been cooking something good you always cooking good stuff did they have any questions on there? Oh. No questions? Okay. So we're going to keep simmering this down. And these, with these strawberries too, if y'all don't like strawberries, I love strawberries, but if you don't like strawberries, you can use any kind of fruit that you want. You can use blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, you can even do this with um, apples and peaches. So it's like the choices are like limitless, limitless on the different kinds of uh, fruit topping that you can have. And you just cook them all the same way. You still add your sugar, you still add you know, cinnamon if you like the cinnamon or you can use the pumpkin pie spice that I use and then you just boil it down until it turns into a syrup. But you can use any type of fruit that you that you like. 
Andrea said, what are your ingredients? What's my ingredients? Mm-hmm. For a for for the banana bread or for the for the fruit? She ain't say. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? For for the fruit it's just the strawberries and the sugar. But y'all see how it got brown? It got brown on that side, so then that's when you know to flip it. When it's nice and brown. And then we're going to flip it and let it get brown on the other side. And that didn't take too long. That didn't take long at all, y'all, to brown that in the skillet. Even if you want to make, make this uh, for breakfast, you could do your custard the night before and then put it in the refrigerator. Then if you want to use banana bread, or if you want to use Texas toast, or even some, uh, that would be real good. If you use some cinnamon raisin bread and use that as your base for your uh, French toast, that will be good too. So, I put, y'all, I put some, I put some bacon in the oven, y'all. I put some bacon in the oven. So this is turkey bacon. And I just put it put it on a, a sheet pan with some aluminum foil and baked it in the oven. That way you ain't got to deal with all that uh, grease and stuff popping. If you're frying it in the skillet, it's easier to put it on the sheet pan because you cook a lot, lot more bacon at one time and then you ain't got to worry about grease popping everywhere. But these strawberries is looking good, y'all. They looking real good. So I'm going to let them boil a little bit more longer. Like the longer you let it boil, the more and more it's going to get syrupy and, and thicken up. So I'm going to put some paper towel on this plate just to drain off some of the oil from the French toast. So when I take it off, I can drink, drain it on there. But I think it's almost done, y'all. Let me see if this other side brown. Yep. See, this one is done. See how good and brown it is? This one is done. Take this out. Let it drain. Oh, it smells. Ooh. It smells good, y'all. I can smell the bananas and the pumpkin pie spice. This smells good. I'm gonna turn this off. This last piece on here. So we're gonna let that sit a little bit. And then when the strawberry strawberries, they almost done. These is almost done, y'all. I'm gonna take the strawberries and put them on the plate. And I got some whipped cream to top it off, y'all. I got some whipped cream. So I'm gonna take a plate. I'll make make my niecey plate first. I'm going to eat this other one. <laughs> as soon as I finish this one, I'm going to eat both of them bad boys. And then I'm going to put a couple pieces of bacon on the side. Ooh. Drop, drop the French toast, y'all. A couple pieces of bacon on the side. Take 
bubbling hot. Oh, and they smell good too. So I'm gonna take some of these strawberries and a little bit of juice. Some of them on there. Y'all can let these this, these strawberries cool down, and y'all can put these over some ice cream or some pound cake. That would be real good with some uh, whipped cream on top. Oh man! Or well, even if you want to to make these and then. Put them over some biscuits. Ah! That'll be real good. And then I'm just gonna take some whipped cream. This is regular whipped cream. If you want to be uh, make your own whipped cream, you can. You can just get some heavy cream and then uh, blend it up in a mixer with a little bit of powdered sugar. Yeah. And that's it, y'all. Banana bread French toast with strawberries, whipped cream, and some turkey bacon. I'm going to take a bite right now. Just look at that. I got to uh, bless my food before I eat it. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Please bless it and purify it. Let it be for the nourishment of my body. It's in your mighty, matchless name that I do pray and receive. Amen. Mm. That's good, y'all. So if you want like a little sweet snack in the evening, because it's almost 6 o'clock. But this is real good. So I hope y'all get a chance to try this recipe. It's really good. I thank y'all for tuning in. You can rewatch the replay, or you can go to my, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Cooking, Creating, and Conversation. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Kenya said that looks that looks delicious. Thank you, Kenya. <laughs>